All right, our producer, Melanie Kennedy, wanted to share family do dots with you because she says it's the best way she's found to help motivate her kids to help around the house. That's right, we're joined by creator Katie Bassett here to tell us all about this system. When did this system come about? Uh, it was about five years ago that my husband and I were struggling with our own family needs and being able to fit everything in. You know, a lot of parents are trying to find a balance. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many, the chores, the carpooling, the dinner, the laundry, and yet we still wanted time with our kids to have fun and to enjoy non-structured time with them where we could feel relaxed. And yeah. so that's where we kind of thought we've got to make a change here. You don't, don't want to be working the entire time. So, Kate, yeah. what did you do? This is fun, the Dots family system. Yeah, so we created this. Um, my husband is a uh, LCSW, so a licensed clinical social worker. So he has the background in child psychology and I'm a special educator, so my background is education. Mm -hmm. So we came up with a research-based way to help children to be motivated and to also make it easier for parents so they don't have to continue to nag the children to get their things done. And the great thing is by putting this up on the wall, it holds everybody accountable. And uh, if there's certain goals and, and there's there's treats and rewards, uh, everybody's got to do their part. So go down level one yeah, for me real quick. Yeah, how does it work? Yeah, I, I love that you brought this up, that it's on the wall because it's very visual. So, you know, there's some great apps and things out there, but this one is hands-on. Kids love to touch things and be involved, and so it's very tactile and rewarding. So basically, the kids start at level one at the beginning of the day, and all these dots right here, we'll just do one row just for demonstration. We'll so you flip them over, black. okay. So this is the beginning of the day, and so they start with the responsibilities, which is just a, an area of the home they clean. So this child has kitchen and then a routine is something you want everybody in the family to do. So that could be exercise, it could be, you know, something make religious. Clean your bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> make cleaning your bed. Ooh, that's in home. Oh, that's okay. in bedroom already. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so it could be something you have to do. Um, everyone to do and then you have bedroom homework and practice time and everyone is responsible for those three things they right are there. yes mm -hmm. and practice times is fun that one can be a whole bunch of different things from sports to music to um, you know my daughter trying to learn how to do the splits yeah sure you know, okay it doesn't have to be super structured mm -hmm. it can be something okay so fun we've like done that. level one yep. now so level they, two yep so that's basically how you get to level two so when they finish all these things they're going to flip their dots over and now it's colorful, it's pretty, and every time they flip a dot, they're getting that oh, self intrinsic and reward. Oh, and now they are in level two. And the big difference between level one and level two, what motivates the children are privileges. Mm -hmm. So level one, sorry guys, no electronics, no playing with friends. That's the basics, yeah. That's yeah. the basics, and we are just getting ourselves to level two. And now I'm happy to let you go play, I'm happy to let you do anything that you'd like Spend to do. Some and you've time got on the some computer. fun stuff yeah. here, like tickets? Yeah, so they can earn tickets to shop at a family store. And so when they earn okay. a ticket, they would put a magnet here. You know, if I, if I had a child who said, uh, who doesn't clean their room, oh, let me go to the room, who doesn't clean their room without complaining. And they're always complaining like, oh, this oh, is so yes. much work and it's mm -hmm. so hard that they lay on their bed and they don't get it done, <laughs> that kind of thing. So if I found a child who, um, that same child, cleaned their room without complaining, I would say, you know, way to go, way to clean your room without complaining, you get a ticket. So okay. they would come, put the ticket here, they stack the tickets up, and then at the end of the week, we count their ticket. They have like little tickets in a, mm -hmm. a pouch, and then they come shop at the store. All right. Okay. That's it. So. Let's go over goals, progress, yeah, service, this? and that. Okay, so this section right here is really valued. Uh, values that you have for your family. So goals is things that you want kids to work on. We have some examples here for teenagers. Wake up on time, be kind to sister, clean closet. Yes, nice hands, the little ones that like to hit. Tie your shoes, plant the garden, and you've written those in. So you yes. can really so you can tailor change those to them. yourselves. Yep, you can change the goals, you just write them in. Um, and then we track their progress with goals, which is nice. That's the one thing we really wanted, is to be able to have this as an all-in-one system. Mm -hmm. And so with the goals, you can include behavior. And you're gonna give one of these away. How can people we win are. it? Yes, we are. So on Family Do Dots, um, Facebook, they can go there and get the instructions of how to enter to win. And we have a big discount we're gonna tell you at the end of the show. Stick okay. around, this more Fresh Living, we'll be right back.